do to me? Unless I get stacked, then he killed me pretty fast. Let's see. Hi, Scissorin here with another video, and uh, this video is going to be about my Juggernaut Righteous Fire. Um, I'm going to be a little bit of a build guide as well, and obviously not going to be as detailed or the same way as the League Starter videos. So Righteous Fire is a build I've played a lot in the past. It's definitely been interesting to play so far. Very difficult for me on solo cell phone right now and something I'm struggling a little bit with. And I think it would be a lot stronger in um, in a trade league, but um, I can I can show it off a bit and uh, and talk about my experience with the build so far and like give advice and what I would do. There are quite a lot of improvements that can be made. I'm actually very happy with how much gear I do have right now, uh, but even even that is a little bit not enough. I feel for solo cell phone. Something that has been like the uh, the biggest struggle for me. Has been finding like an essence of horror helmet. I've only found one essence of horror so far. Um, and I think Righteous Fire has um it, it's a lot better than when I original originally played it. At least at like the end game, because there's there's just like so much more you can get right now. The biggest problem with the build has always been clear. There are a few ways to switch that for like you can use explosion tests and you can also use Impulse uh, with, for example, a Vinktar and switch into that for mapping. That is an option, especially for softcore. Um, but it's never been like a high speed player character, right? So if that is what you're looking for, this is not the character for you. Um, as far as boss damage, I think at the high end, boss damage should be pretty decent now. A lot more than before. Uh, somewhere probably... Um, Somewhere between 1 and 1.5 million DPS, I think, now. Because since the last time I played it, Inspiration is in the game now. And you also have... Uh, so, so because of that, you can basically get a 7 link. Part of what makes the clear really bad is that I have Conk Effect. Um, and you don't necessarily need that. But uh, that is definitely going to be like the highest damage setup. But yeah, you can see that it doesn't really clear that fast. I guess it's not too bad for a character with like nearly 8k life and 9 endurance charges. But, you know, it's uh, it's not everybody's cup of tea, so I want to make sure that I'm uh, honest with expectations, you know? Um, as you can see now, when Elemental Overload is down, damage is pretty low, and that's been a bit of a struggle. So what I've done for that is I've tried to fit uh, in Critical Strikes, which is still leveling, um, with the um, with the uh, Stormbrand that is basically being auto-casted with the uh, trigger. The biggest piece for me right now that I'm struggling with is I don't have a Suffles frame and obviously the horror essences. Um, so I can I can walk over and look through the gear that I have on the character right now. I sadly haven't been able to find a uh, scepter higher than item level 63. And we can save four points, I think it is, by having this scepter. One, two, three, four. Because uh, this gives elemental overload. Now obviously, ideally, I would love to get fire damage over time multiplier and damage over time multiplier that is very difficult and i only have a low item level one i'm trying to get a new one ideally what i would want would be uh at least two stats and then multi-modded so i would like something like fire damage over time damage over time and then multi-mod fire damage and the trigger again but either way like not a perfect scepter there by any means and the damage is pretty decent right now definitely closer to a zdps build at the moment so yeah, the, the nice thing here, like obviously we have uh, FXC, Elemental Focus, Righteous Fire, and Inspiration. The way that we're triggering Righteous, uh, sorry, Inspiration is that something else needs to be giving the charges, right? Righteous Fire is never going to give you a charge because it doesn't have a mana cost. Something that I finally got was a 30% more damage over time here with Flame Wall. That helps a little bit for sure. I do want to see like if we can like tweak this or change it. Chieftain would definitely have more damage as well. At the moment, we're a Juggernaut with Unbreakable, Unflinching, Unrelenting, and Unyielding. Uh, I leveled this as Chieftain. I actually did Fireball Spell Slinger, and I do have like another video talking about that. And then I was Chieftain for a while, but I decided um, I really wanted to see how much more tanky I would be on Juggernaut. And honestly, I quite like Unyielding because I have nine uh, Endurance Charges, and that's giving us quite a lot of AoE there. I've been really, really struggling getting any Essence of Horror. Um, and even getting like Elder Helmets was a problem in the start. 
quite a lot I can increase here. Like ideally, best case scenario, you want like level 20 burning, level 20 conk, and then the essence of horror. That'd be really nice because then you basically have a seven link helmet. Um, right now we're six link. You have a uh, poem's heart. Something that's also been improved uh, in Heist is that there is now like the, the life on chest enchant. So you can get like 550 life on a comb's heart now. You can also keep putting in like the quality for life and mana here with the... I can't remember what the catalyst is called. But the life catalyst. So that would make it up to 30 life recovery rate on 120 life uh, and regen. So that would be insane. I've also um, anointed Vigor to put me up to 9 endurance charges here. And obviously cluster jewels are pretty bad. I think there is a another one as well. Instead of having exposure therapy, there's the second one that is 10% um, fire dot as well. And that would really help. Probably having like honestly a bigger cluster jewel so you can get more of the fire damage over time things would help a lot as well. What I had as Chieftain was um, Ramako Sun's Light. And then Hinakora's Death Fury. And then we had Tassalio and Valako. And obviously you're getting 15% more damage if you've lost an Endurance Charge. You can easily proc this by Vigilant Strike, which is what I was doing. And you're getting 25 more Fire Dot here uh, from Ramako. And then obviously it's uh, Fire Damage and Regen on the smaller ones. You get an absurd amount of Regen uh, as Chieftain. And we can look at a little bit of my Regen here uh, as well. And like with Endurance Charges uh, and everything up. Like we have 2.8k Regen. And I don't even think this is like everything. So, honestly, not 100% sure what is the best. I think my Chieftain might have enough mitigation to still not get one shot. I'm very, very scared while I don't have a Saffle's Frame. I'm using a Rise of the Phoenix instead. You can see that the, the life regen of a Chieftain is 5,000. So, with a Chieftain, which is tempting to switch back to and see if I can survive. The, the problem is I do feel it a little bit like I'm taking big chunks already. A lot of that is from Saffle's. And I think if I had a Zibakwa Jewel, this would probably be a lot safer because I wouldn't be taking much Ellie damage. So what I'd be working for then to make the build like truly immortal or, or very close to would be getting like a Zibakwa. Because with the Saffle's Frame, all I would want there would be two small clusters with the Born in Chaos. And then we're back at 90 max Chaos Res. Which is also going to further help with the uh, the chaos degen because the the fire damage from righteous fire will be taken as chaos, and um, yeah, that'll result in even more positive regen. So one of the things that I really want moving forward on this build is obviously a essence of horror helmet would be great, and that would be a lot easier to get in trade league. So essence of horror on hardcore heist is thirty chaos, which is a lot more doable to try to actually get a good helmet. Even if you get burning damage and essence of horror, that would actually go a long way because you kind of get so much DPS um, for clearing by not having conk effect. Now, obviously, conk effect is a big like damage multiplier. As you saw, what was slowing me down was really just like um, the the sheer amount of like enemies. Like I actually have to be on top of them to deal damage to them, and that that is like really annoying. So far, like auras and everything I'm using, it's actually a bit of a pain, and it helps a lot per level I get right now. Like the, the spider aura and some levels would be able to get rid of sovereignty because even though vitality is surprisingly, you know, it's a cheap aura, it's only reserving flat mana, but flat mana is actually a stupid amount for a chieftain or a juggernaut because I have so little mana. So that is a big issue. So being able to like get the spider aura being 25% instead of skittabas being 31% would help a large amount. Um, getting some sort of like reservation help would help a lot right now. Obviously, I don't really have a proper helmet. So getting, you know, vitality or purity of fire or just anything reservation would be a big help. But that's not really something I can do right now. Um, I did just get a life recovery belt here as well. Uh, ideally, I would want this like perfectly divined and also having um, 20 quality life and mana. That would put the life recovery rate at 24%. We're getting up to 30 here. Uh, we're getting 10% um, here from this. This is like taking a little bit of strength away, but the 10% life recovery rate that helps. Like, it's basically a 10% uh, 10, 10 more regen. So it's very, very strong uh, and I feel like it's worth it. And yeah, the character, by the way, it's called um, Scissorin Return. And uh, we'll, we'll put up the POB for this as well for how it looks right now with what I'm using. So you can see all the skills 
Replicas and Serious Foible. This is fairly common. I think I've seen three now just while running like the, you know, the... So you see at the top what has replicas or experimented items uh, before you going in. And uh, yeah, they've been fairly common. I've seen three so far. The Combs Way is definitely the hardest thing to get in Souls off on. You don't really need them, obviously. They are plus one endurance charge and a lot of regen, so I think they're quite nice. Uh, but basically, as many endurance charges as you can get is great. Um, the biggest chance to get them is by spamming uh, Navali with Prophecy once you're around level 40. And then there is a Divination card as well, which drops... Uh, this is from the Caldera Comb. Uh, so you can farm this at tier 2 maps. It's fairly rare. I've had these mostly drop from doing heists. I feel like it should be pretty doable this league to get Righteous Fire very easily over 10k life. I've had that before, generally on characters with like, that's like level 98 and stuff, with like very perfect gear. But, uh, and that also includes like percentage life on your belt, which really pumps your life up. But now with like the Azir Exploitable, you can get extra life there. It should be uh, really, really nice as a boss killer character. I've been enjoying experimenting with Firewall. I haven't really tried Scorching Ray much. Firewall is just so nice because it gives you a lot of mobility and it lets you like throw down a firewall and move around. A big problem so far is the endurance the Enduring Cry, like, even though it looks like it should be, like, this far away, just because, like, the, uh, it's, it's, it's one Enduring Surge per five power. So if there's just, like, three white monsters here, that's not enough. There has to be, like, at least five white monsters or either way. Like, I feel like this, like, barely ever is enough to keep my Enduring Surge up. It's been, like, a massive pain. And that was really nice with Chieftain. I think if I could get a Zibakwa, it would be very tempting to go Chieftain because I would have like 4.3 or 4.4k net positive regen. So my life would just be... And that basically means that anything that doesn't one-shot me can't kill me. Uh, like high DPS should like very rarely do anything to the character. So the, the nice thing about the Chieftain is that the life recovery rate from taking fire damage is always up because you are taking 10% fire damage or 10% fizz as fire damage. Something you can do with shields is to try to corrupt for plus two of like AOE. You can try to corrupt for plus two aura gems. Um, and that can like get a 21 purity of fire up to um, 23, which then um, gives you one more max fire res. Hmm. But yeah, I just wanted to make like a quick video and like my thoughts on Righteous Fire. The Pantheons I'm using right now are these two for like reduced fire damage degen. Um, and then you also have the Bandits' skill point. Oak is almost tempting for this build, but it's so skill point intensive that I just, I, I can't really take it. That's like a quick sum up and also some ideas of what we're going for in the future. Base upgrade is definitely Saffles and then the uh, Zibakwa or Divine Flesh uh, Legion Jewel. It's a very, very challenging thing to do in Soul Cell Found and very tempting to do it on another build instead. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, my thoughts on Righteous Fire and stuff like that. Um, as far as like recommending other people do it, it is more of a niche thing. I think Blade Blast Bladefall is a lot stronger um, and I'm more doing this as like a nostalgia thing. Can I do it? Uh, it's something I haven't done for so long. So. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the insane support on YouTube. Really do appreciate it and try to die less than I do.